guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 18, 19, and 20 week pregnancy update. Um, if you have not seen our gender reveal yet, make sure you go check that out before you watch this video because I will be spoiling the gender um, in just a few minutes. But, um, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name's Molly. I have two boys, Liam, who's four, and Wyatt, who is two. And, um, we are expecting our first little girl in June, um, this summer. And so we are so excited. It's definitely going to be, um, completely different from having boys. Um, and I feel like I'm starting all over again because I have to buy, you know, clothes and everything. But we are super excited. So just like every pregnancy video, I will, um, go through like a list of the same questions and um, go from there. By the time you guys see this, I will be 21 weeks. Um, my weeks start over on Thursday. All right, I might be getting frequently interrupted because my two kids keep coming up here, but I'm gonna try to do this as fast and as best as I can. Um, the first question is, gosh, I don't like how I'm sitting and like there's no better way sit this is so uncomfortable um the first question is how far along am i so today i'm 20 weeks six days so like i said my weeks start over on thursday so tomorrow i will be 21 weeks my kids are still crying the next question is how much weight gain and i finally am gaining weight so in my last video i had said that my doctor wants me to gain a pound a week from here on out I was really concerned because I'm like, I don't even know how I'm supposed to do that. But so far, so good. I've gained, I gained three pounds from like that appointment to my last appointment, which is really good because that's about what he's wanting to see. Currently 136 and I started out, I think like 130. Um, so I think in the beginning I gained like three pounds and then I was just steady at 133, but now I'm 136. Which is awesome. I'm so excited. Finally, I'm not nauseous anymore. So I feel like I can finally eat anything that I want to eat. Am I wearing maternity clothes? I am not, but I need to. Like I said in the last video, I'm wearing jeans, maternity jeans, but I need to buy maternity shirts because all my clothes are not fitting anymore and um, I'm running out of clothes to wear. So. With that being said, I do need to go buy maternity clothes. I'm just trying to hold it off as long as possible because I don't want to spend the money. So I'm kind of just trying to find clothes in my closet that do fit. But like I said, I'm running out of clothes. Symptoms. Um, no symptoms. Um, I feel like I'm not so tired anymore. I'm still tired, but I'm able to stay awake past 7.30. For those of you who watched my first pregnancy video, I, in the beginning, was exhausted. Like, I could not keep my eyes open after 6.30. It was rough, but now, like, I feel like I'm getting better. I just feel like, um, I'm not tired, but energy-wise, like, walking up the stairs and getting dressed in the morning, it's so hard. Like, I am out of breath, and it takes so much of my energy to, like, bend down get my pants on, get clothes on. It's just exhausting and I still have 20 weeks left. I am not complaining though. I'm very thankful and this is my last pregnancy so I um, I just don't want to complain. So um, I am thankful. That's just one of the symptoms that I'm kind of feeling right now. Another symptom is um, my, I feel like my hip is out of place and my last pregnancy with Wyatt, my hip was out of place for like the first like, well, it started at 16 weeks up until, like, 23 weeks. And it was the most painful thing ever. And it's not as bad this time around, but it's still pretty bad. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's painful. And I don't want to go to the chiropractor because it's just, like, another thing to do on my list. But the heating pad seems to help. And if I keep cracking my back, that seems to help as well. But that's like one of the biggest things right now is that my hip is kind of shifting up. Any cravings? Yes, I am craving candy um, and cereal still, but now it's more so candy, which is not the healthiest thing. 
but um this pregnancy i'm just really into like the sweets and um i think it's because the gender is a girl and i've heard a lot of old wives tales saying that um if you're craving more sweets then you're most likely carrying a girl so i think that's right for me any stretch marks i cannot say i usually won't be able to find out um until like after i have the baby but so far i haven't noticed anything um yeah, I mean, unless they're just kind of blending in with the ones that I've got from Wyatt. But I'm trying to keep up with moisturizing my stomach. I'm really bad at it. I'm always bad at it. It's just not something that I'm, like, routinely used to doing. So I'm trying to get in the habit because now that my stomach is really stretching, I really need to be on top of making sure it's moisturized. That way I can kind of prevent the stretch marks. Am I missing anything? No. Maybe like just wearing my regular clothes because it's getting harder and harder to get dressed for work every day. But other than that, nothing. Belly button in or out? It's more out than in. Like I've said in all my videos, my belly button is a really deep innie in the beginning. So it's never going to be fully out. Um, but it is getting there and it's more out than it is in. Anything new? Oh goodness, I have to like go back in my notes because I wrote a bunch of notes that I wanted to talk about. So I have varicose veins, which those are horrible. Um, I have them from the waist down basically and it is so painful and it can be really painful for me when I'm standing a lot. So right now I'm dealing with that and it will not go away till after I have the baby. Um, but basically it's like my body's just not used to all the weight, like carrying all the weight. So that's one of the reasons why I have the varicose veins. Um, with Liam, he was like one of my smaller sized babies. I mean, I've only had two, but he was the smallest. And then with Wyatt, he was almost nine pounds. So my body was totally not used to carrying nine pounds of extra weight from the waist down. Another thing is, is I have a muscle spasm and it's actually getting better this week. It was more so really bad last week. Um, it's like right down here on my right side and it was causing really bad back pain. Um, with my pregnancy with Wyatt, I had to wear like a belly brace to kind of hold my belly up to help with the varicose veins and to help with like back pain. And that really helped. So this time around my doctor suggested me to start wearing it again, which I have no problem doing it. It's just sometimes a pain in the butt. But I am wearing it and it does help with the varicose veins because it lifts my stomach kind of off of my legs a little bit. And then it also um, helps with the muscle spasm a lot. Like I was surprised at how quickly it helped me, but it helped. So um, that's kind of what I'm working with right now. But other than that, I've been feeling pretty good. Another thing is, is that I'm not on my anti-nausea medicine anymore, which makes me so happy. Um, I stopped at 16 weeks with Wyatt, but this time around it seemed like I was kind of more nauseous than um, I was with Wyatt. But it's weird because every time I've stopped taking it, I've my appetite has always come back like full force, which is good because now I'm gaining weight quicker. Um, so I think that if I can survive without the medicine, I'm going to do so. Um, but another thing is I can no longer sleep on my stomach. It's becoming way too uncomfortable, which stinks because that's like the only way that I am comfortable. Um, I'm so like out of breath right now. I have no like airway capacity right now. Oh, okay. Anyways, so sleeping is kind of um no fun for me anymore which stinks because in the end you want to get as much sleep as you can but you can't another thing is um i have like all these baby apps and i always forget to read them but let's see here these are so weird because over the last few weeks they've been pretty accurate the i'm expecting app it says congratulations you're halfway through your pregnancy at this point your healthcare provider may recommend that you have an ultrasound scan which we already did. The ultrasound scan, the ultrasound can determine the size and position of the fetus. Your healthcare provider can also measure the size of your uterus to keep track of your baby's growth. Some moms to be report to have trouble breathing and that is what I'm having right now. And like over the last few weeks, anything that the app has said, I have been like going through. Like I think over like at 19 weeks, it was saying you might experience dry skin and my face was so dry that whole like 
up until that and then I started reading that and I'm like wow that makes sense so um breathing is horrible I actually have an appointment with my pulmonologist on Thursday which is tomorrow um I have asthma and I've always struggled with asthma during my pregnancy um I have asthma like outside of pregnancy but when I am pregnant it's like 10 times worse I had pneumonia with Wyatt the last three weeks of my pregnancy that all right so I don't want to forget my bump shot okay so here is my bump with my shirt on and I have to wear like this like thing so bear with me here's my bump with my shirt up so there it is all right you guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next vlog